Steve here. Today we're going to go over the skis that I was using in the video and the technique that I was using on each ski. Ski number one is the head eye tighten. That's when you saw the one in the upper left hand corner of the video. This is by far the, the stiffest of the three. This is a 177, radius is 15, the side cut is 138, 81, 118. My technique, I would say, on this ski isn't really anything special. It's just putting my weight on my outside ski. Uh, sometimes I'm letting my upper body go with the turn a little bit more than others. Sometimes it ends up being more counter-rotated. It's just kind of a different effect or a different look. Uh, one thing that's cool to do on this ski is to put the, like, put the front half or the tip down first and set the edge and then you can zip across and that adds quickness or uh, power, it adds g-force, decreases the radius some. That's ski number one. So when you saw two in the upper left hand corner of the video, that was the head ISL World Cup Rebels. This is the first, <coughs> excuse me, first ski that you saw me on in the Moguls. This is 165 centimeters. Radius is 11.5, the side cut is 122.66.107. Um, this is about the same flexibility as the Molo Ski that we'll talk about next. Uh, it's pretty darn flexible. I do a lot of that same thing that I just described on the Head Eye Titan on this ski and the bumps. I put the tip down first in some cases. And uh, then you can kind of zip across, or this ski will do a lot of work for you in the moles. If you let the tip go into the bump, it'll bend and come across. Uh, in a tight spot in the bumps, I'm likely to kind of angle my toes down and kind of wiggle the tip through to keep it carving, and you can, you can kind of decrease the radius by having your tails come up around the moment of pole plant. This is a wider corridor, a wider corridor of turns than ski number three, which is the Molo ski that we'll talk about. Um, I'm kind of going around the bank a little bit more on this ski, or I'm crossing the rut somewhere near the high point of the rut, I would say, on this ski. Uh, the deepest part of the rut, I should say. Um, if you are on the groomed on this ski, if you slap the tip and tail in a turn, that's how you produce a lot of these cool, popular short turns that you see online a lot. I don't usually film those turns. Ski number three is the Dina Star Twister. This is built for speed in the moguls. Uh, this radius is listed as 22. I don't know if that really describes very well what this ski does. This ski is really quick uh, when you're going fast and you bend the tip or if you go into a bump. It's just not quite as much of a turn across the hill as the head ISL. Uh, but this will still carve really quick if you bend the tip at speed. Um, this ski does not help you in the moles as much as the head ISL. This doesn't do as much work for you and it, it doesn't pad you very much when you're coming into the bump at speed. This is also really flexible. This is 175 centimeters, side cut is 85, 66, 98. Uh, 98 would be the tip on that one. Um, my technique on this ski is the same turn. In this video, it's the same turn as what I'm doing in this video on the head ISL. I'm not always doing the same things in every video. Uh, there's more than one way to do things. Some people, like A lot of people forget that, I think. Um, in this video, I'm basically doing the same turn as the head ISL where I am subtly bending the tip, but I'm doing it in the deepest part of the trough on this ski, and I'm doing it as fast as I can. That's all for today.